Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be installing Windows 11 ARM using the new version of UTM 4.0.5, which is the beta version of UTM 4, which is about to be released. So this virtual machine software is far more advanced than it used to be compared to version 3, and it works far better and is also much easier to install than it used to be. So today, I'm going to teach you how to use this. However, just a word of warning, this virtual machine does not contain any kind of graphical acceleration. So therefore, if you wanted to play any kind of complicated 3D games, then this is not going to be the virtual machine for you, you'll need something like Parallels, which is capable of running DirectX 10 or 11 games at relatively good performance, and can even run games like Final Fantasy VII Remake or the AAA game Control. However, if you're just looking for a way to run some basic Windows applications on your Mac, then UTM is going to be a very good solution. And today I'm going to show you how to get this installed. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing we're going to do is go to mac.getutm.app, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description, and we're going to download the latest version of UTM. However, if we press the download button here, that's actually going to download the latest final release. And the version that I want to be testing today is UTM4, which is still currently in beta at the time of recording. This is going to change very soon in the future, so that download button might be the correct one. However, in order to guarantee that I get version 4 beta, I'm going to click on changes here, which is going to take us to the GitHub page. So here the beta for 4.0.5 is is currently available to download and also future betas are also going to be here as well. So what we're going to do is to install this one. In order to do this, we're going to find the latest release and we're going to scroll down and then find assets. And in this assets section, I'm going to expand. I want to find utm.dmg. So I'll click on this and this is going to download 4.0.5 beta. So once UTM is downloaded, we're going to go to finder and then we're going to go to the downloads folder and then we're going to double click on the newly downloaded utm.dmg. And here what we're going to do is to drag and drop UTM into our applications folder and then move on to the next step. So in applications, we're going to scroll down and find UTM. And then we're going to double click on this. It's going to ask us whether we sure want to open, press open. And now we have UTM installed and open. So in order to install Windows, what we're going to need to do is press the button for create a new virtual machine. And what we want to do is to virtualize Windows 11 ARM. We don't want to emulate an x86 operating system because it's going to be much slower. Virtualizing is going to have the best performance results. So this is the one we're going to use. And what we're going to do is to select the Windows preset so that the virtual machine is pre-configured for Windows. So tap on this. So what we need to do now is to find our VHDX image. So what I'm going to do is to minimize this and then we're going to move on to the next step, which is to use the Microsoft Windows Insider VHDX file. So I'm going to leave a link in the website for this particular page, which is going to allow you to install the Windows 11 ARM preview. So in order to do this, we need to sign up for the Windows Insider program. Don't worry, it's completely free to do. What I'm going to do is to go and sign into a Microsoft account. You can use any existing account. Today, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new email address just to show you that it works. So once we've signed into a Microsoft account, we also need to join the Windows Insider inside a program. I'm also going to leave a link to this website in the description. It's pretty straightforward. We just sign in again with the account that we just created or an existing account. Once we've signed in, we just accept the terms of the agreement, press register now, click flight now, and then we can close this tab. And because we've logged in already and we've signed up to the Windows Insider program, we just refresh this page. And now this page has changed. We're now able to download Windows 11 ARM inside a preview. So the important thing here is that we select an addition. The dev channel version of this software is going to be the one with the latest fixes. The beta channel one is going to be more stable and has more bug testing done on it. So here I'm going to press confirm. Here it's saying validating request. Here we're going to select English product language, press confirm. And then we're going to press download now, click allow. Then it's going to start its download process. So it's only 10 gigabytes in size, but it can take a little bit of time. So just wait for that to complete before we can move on to the next step. So once the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file has fully downloaded, we're ready to move on to the next step. So when we go back to UTM, we're going to be able to select the VHDX image that we needed. So we're going to click on Browse, go to Downloads, and then select our VHDX file here, press Open. And we're going to leave all of these other options open, UEFI Boot, and also Install Drivers and Spice Tools. That's all automated now, press Continue. Here we're going to allocate half of our memory of our computer. So if you have 8GB of RAM, then you should put 4GB of RAM into the virtual machine for maximum performance. I'd also recommend putting half of your CPU cores. So for the original M1 chip, it's 4 cores. Let's continue. Here we're going to set a shared directory path. So that's going to make it a lot easier to share files between the virtual machine and the host. What I'm going to do here is go to Finder and create a shared folder in my Documents file, and then select this one as my shared folder, then press Continue. So these are the settings I'm using, and then I'm going to press Save and then Continue. So here you can see that Windows guest services are running, so just wait for that to finish. So once the virtual machine is complete, we're ready to press the play button and then launch it for the very first time. And here it's all booting up. Here it's saying it's starting services and it's getting devices ready. So now it's saying start to boot option. 
So here we can see that Windows 11 setup has finally booted up. And now Windows 11 ARM is going to go through its setup process. So one of the issues you're going to face is that Windows 11 ARM is going to require the internet in order to set up. So we don't want to do any of the setup process yet. That's because the setup installer does not have access to network drivers yet. That's going to come after we finish the installation. What we want to do is to open up the command line now, because if we go to the error connection screen where it can't find internet, then it's going to be too late. We have to do this process a few windows before that. So this is the right time to do this. What we're going to do is to hold down the function key, press shift and then F10. And then that's going to open up this elevated prompt here. We're going to press yes. And this is going to allow us to open up a command window, which is going to help us to bypass the known network internet error. So we need to type in this command here, OOBE backslash bypass NRO. So I'll leave this in the description, OOBE backward slash bypass NRO, and then press return. And then the whole virtual machine is going to restart. And now we're going to go through the country setup process. I'm going to add a keyboard, skip keyboard layout. So now when we get to let's connect you to a network screen, we now have a I don't have internet button and it's going to let us continue with the setup. So now that we're ready, we can go ahead and press I don't have internet and then we can press continue with limited setup. Here we're going to agree to the license agreement. Here I'll enter my name, here I'll press next, 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 and then press accept and then the virtual machine is going to restart. So here Windows 11 ARM is fully installing. Now Windows 11 ARM is saying it's getting things ready for you and this is going to take a few minutes so just let that finish. So Windows 11 ARM is now booted in the desktop. It's asking us to install a new build of Windows. This is despite the fact that we downloaded the latest beta build but don't worry about that. Here we're just going to close these windows. These are the previous OOBE requests. So now we are in Windows 11 ARM and in order to change the resolution to something higher than 800 by 600 we should take advantage of the Spice Guest tools which is already pre-mounted as per our settings. So I'm going to open up Explorer and then go to our CD drive. And then we have Spice Guest Tools here. I'm going to double click, click yes on this prompt. And this is going to install the tools. Press next. Here it's asking us to reboot. We'll press finish and reboot now. And now the virtual machine is restarted and we're logging into the main window. Now that the Spice Guest Tools have installed, we'll go to display settings. And now we have the ability to change resolution. So I'm recording this at 1080p. So I'm going to also change this to 1080p. Press keep. And now when I maximize this, all of the resolution and aspect ratio is all going to be correct. So now our virtual machine is fully connected to the internet and it's all working correctly. Incidentally, if you wanted to use the shared folder, what you can do is scroll down on Explorer and you'll find the shared folder mounted as a Z drive here. I can do things like create a folder, for example, test windows. And then if I go to Finder and Document and go to the UTM shared folder I created earlier, we have a new folder here, which is created by the Windows Virtual Machine. So this is a really good place to share and store files between the virtual machine and the host. We also have the ability to copy and paste text between the host and the guest. And within the guest virtual machine, we can control V to paste, and it's going to paste all of that data from the macOS host. So now we have Windows 11 ARM working great through UTM on a Mac. And the best thing about it is that it's completely free to use. If you want to find out how to pay for Windows 11 ARM, then please make sure to watch this video before you make a huge mistake. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So a lot of people will have come to this UTM4 video expecting to be able to play some Windows games on the Mac using UTM. However, UTM and also VMware Fusion do not support 3D acceleration, I'm afraid. So if you want a game, you're going to have to use something like Parallels. And we can even run high-end DirectX 10 and 11 games. For example, this is Control running on the M1 Max chip and it's running great. And this is despite the fact that this is an x86 64-bit game being emulated on the ARM operating system and it's being virtualized on the M1 Max chip. If you want to learn how to do this, then please make sure to check out my tutorial in the video for how to install Parallels and how to get it working best on the Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.